What is up guys, Chris here from Crisis Point and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Halo RS5. This is actually one of Halo's flagship smartwatches released in the Philippines that gives consumers a premium grade experience without costing an arm and a leg. So in this video, I'll be giving you my impressions and an overview on what this bad boy brings to the table, as well as what to expect should you consider this as your next smartwatch in 2024. And with that said, let's do this. All right, so this is the Halo RS5. Now, for those of you who don't know, Halo has actually been in existence for quite some time now, creating products, smart wearables, particularly with smartwatches and wireless earbuds. This company was founded back in 2017 and has been in a steady growth from that point to the present time. So in terms of credibility, the company itself has been dedicated in producing quality grade products for consumers. So opening the lid, we do have a first look with the Halo RS5. It also comes with a complimentary Velcro strap that give consumers an option to switch for should you prefer something that is a lot more tighter, a lot more customizable as opposed to the standard. It also comes with a user guided manual which gives you all the information you need on how to utilize the RS5. And this package also contains the proprietary charging cable. Now, as far as the initial impressions in terms of its design, I honestly thought this was going to be a heavy smartwatch because of how big it is. But as soon as I was able to strap it on my wrist, it actually felt very light. And despite how big the screen is, it didn't actually feel that impacting to the point that it would make my wrist look small. Now on the daily, I've been using the Xiaomi Smart Band 8 as a daily driver for quite some time now and having to put this side by side with the RS5 in a form of a comparison you can see how big or how tall the actual screen is and is actually very much similar to the Smart Band 8. Now as far as the display is concerned this is rocking a 2.1 inch AMOLED display. This also comes with a 60Hz high refresh rate which basically makes the transitions and user interface a lot more smoother when using it on the fly. It also supports always on display, which is always nice. If you're running around or commuting and stuff and you just wanna check the time, then that really helps. But in a general sense, in terms of the actual display, one thing I like is that when the box says AMOLED display, it is indeed AMOLED display. I believe there are other brands in the market that uses LCD but claims it's AMOLED. With the RS5, they did not skimp out on that particular feature. So you're really getting a 2.1 inch AMOLED display. Now, as far as the actual interaction is concerned, the RS5 basically performs just like any other smartwatch you've seen in the market. Swiping up or down gives you the notifications and control center. Left to right gives you an additional menu for shortcuts. What's different, however, with the RS5 is the crown because unlike other smartwatches where the primary concept of the crown is just to flip over different watch faces the rs5 does that too but you can also use the crown to navigate the app drawer as well as to lock the screen do certain actions with certain applications now since this is a smartwatch slash fitness tracker it does support all the usual sensory applications and features that you would often find at other smartwatches in the market. Now, just for context, regarding the readings of whatever you get on a smartwatch, regardless of the brand, most often than not, this is just for reference. It's not going to be 100% accurate. However, during my testing though, I did test this out side by side with the Smart Band 8. And surprisingly, the numbers are very much identical. They're not 100% the same, but they are identical. So considering that most people say that the Smart Band 8 is the best fitness tracker, the Halo RS5 is not just a fitness tracker, which is also a smartwatch, but still provides the same data or is close to the same data as the Smart Band 8, then it's a major win for anyone getting the RS5 because you're not only getting a dependable fitness tracker, you're also getting a premium grade smartwatch at an affordable price. All right, so in summary, if you are tight on a budget or you're basically just wanting to have a dependable smartwatch that can give you the readings that you need, especially if you're going to the gym, but you don't wanna spend $500 or more, or in our case, 15,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos, the RS5 would be your best bet. It packs in a lot of features that you would actually want in a smartwatch combined with a beautiful display and a long lasting battery life. 
Probably an additional perk is that Velcro strap that comes in the box. Usually if you buy a smartwatch that is priced below 5,000 pesos, the tendency is you'd have to buy other straps in the market, pay extra, which means you have to spend more money. Now, if you made it all the way to this point, I honestly couldn't thank you enough. Your support means the world to me. And as mentioned in the introduction of this video, I'll be providing discount codes for you to use, which can give you an opportunity to acquire the Halo RS5 at a discounted rate with the corresponding platforms. Feel free to check the description on where to get them for the best value price, as well as where to use those codes for your convenience. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, especially those who are in the market for a new smartwatch or a fitness tracker. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and unboxing videos. Thanks again for watching. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point, and I'll catch you in the next.